Welcome to Quiet Minds. Ever wondered how an INFJ, the advocate, and an ENFJ, the giver, navigate the fascinating world of relationships? Well, hang on, because we're about to go on a journey to explore the dynamics between these two intriguing personality types. First, let's start with a quick introduction. INFJs, often known as the advocate, are introverted, intuitive, feeling and judging individuals. They are known for their depth of emotion and their visionary approach to life. On the other hand, we have ENFJs fondly referred to as the givers. They're extroverted, intuitive, feeling and judging. These individuals are often charismatic, outgoing and naturally drawn to nurturing and inspiring others. Now imagine these two in a relationship. The thoughtful, introspective INFJ paired with the enthusiastic, nurturing ENFJ. Sounds like a recipe for an interesting mix, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is. The combination of their shared intuitive and feeling traits with the interesting twist of introversion and extroversion makes for a dynamic that's as captivating as it is complex. Here's a fun thought. Imagine an INFJ and an ENFJ planning a date. The INFJ with their love for deep, meaningful experiences might suggest a quiet evening at a poetry reading. The ENFJ ever the social butterfly might counter with a lively dinner party with friends, but wait. They are both intuitive feelers, remember? So they'd probably end up blending their ideas into an intimate dinner with close friends, followed by a soul-stirring poetry session. Ah, the magic of compromise. But of course, it's not all poetry readings and dinner parties. Like any relationship, the INFJ-NFJ pairing has its challenges. But don't worry, we'll get into that later. For now, let's revel in the beauty and complexity of this fascinating dynamic. Stay tuned to unravel the dynamics between these two personality types in a romantic relationship. Trust me, it's a journey worth exploring. Imagine two pieces of a puzzle, different yet they fit together perfectly. That's the INFJ and ENFJ for you. Just like these puzzle pieces, the INFJ, also known as the advocate, and the ENFJ, known as the protagonist, may seem different on the surface, but they share a deep bond of mutual understanding and shared values. Both are driven by a sense of altruism and a desire to make a positive impact on the world. They're like two sides of the same coin, each complementing the other in unique and fascinating ways. Now, let's dive into the world of Spencer, an INFJ. Before he understood his personality type, Spencer found relationships to be a labyrinth of confusion. He often felt misunderstood and struggled to connect on a deeper level. But once he discovered he was an INFJ, things began to fall into place. Spencer learned that as an INFJ, he values deep, meaningful relationships over casual encounters. He realized that his ideal partner would be someone who shares his values, someone who understands his need for solitude and respects his intuitive nature. And that's where the ENFJ comes into the picture. ENFJs, like Spencer's now wife Cynthia, are naturally warm, empathetic and outgoing. They tend to be excellent communicators and are usually able to understand and accommodate the INFJ's need for solitude and introspection. For Spencer, understanding his INFJ personality was like finding a missing piece of the puzzle. It helped him navigate his relationships more effectively and ultimately led him to Cynthia. But it wasn't just about finding the right partner. Understanding his personality type also helped Spencer become more comfortable in his own skin. He learned to embrace his unique traits as an INFJ, like his deep empathy and intuitive understanding of others' emotions. And in doing so, he was able to bring these strengths into his relationship with Cynthia, creating a bond that was both deep and fulfilling. Understanding oneself can indeed open doors to better relationships. Don't you agree? As Spencer embraced his INFJ personality, he met Cynthia, an ENFJ, and their love story began. Spencer, a quintessential INFJ, had always found the dating scene a bit challenging. His introspective nature and deep emotional understanding often led to him feeling misunderstood. It wasn't until he discovered his INFJ personality type that his perspective changed. He began to see his sensitivity, intuition and introversion not as hindrances, but as unique strengths. Then entered Cynthia, a radiant ENFJ. Cynthia, with her extroverted, intuitive feeling and judging personality traits, was like a breath of fresh air for Spencer. Her charisma and enthusiasm were infectious, and her natural ability to connect with people was something Spencer admired greatly. Cynthia, on the other hand, was drawn to Spencer's depth of character. His thoughtful nature, his ability to listen and understand, 
and his passion for causes that mattered to him were captivating. Cynthia appreciated Spencer's unique perspective, his authenticity and his unwavering integrity. Their relationship was a dance of sorts. Cynthia, with her extroverted energy, would often lead, while Spencer, with his introspective nature, provided the rhythm and balance. They complemented each other beautifully. Cynthia would draw Spencer out of his shell, encouraging him to engage with the world, while Spencer would provide Cynthia with a safe space to introspect and recharge. Their differences were not without challenges, of course. At times, Cynthia's need for social interaction was overwhelming for Spencer, and Spencer's need for solitude could seem alienating to Cynthia. But understanding their personality types helped them navigate these challenges. They learned to respect each other's needs and boundaries, and in doing so, they found a harmonious balance. Indeed, their love story is a testament to the power of understanding and embracing our unique personality traits. It's not about finding someone exactly like us, but about finding someone who complements us, who challenges us, and who understands us. Indeed, when an INFJ and an ENFJ come together, it's a beautiful dance of harmony and mutual respect. But life isn't a bed of roses, is it? Let's explore the challenges an NFJ-ENFJ couple might face. We've all heard the saying, opposites attract. But when it comes to INFJ and ENFJ personalities, it's more about complements attract. These two personality types share a lot in common, but their differences can sometimes lead to misunderstandings, causing bumps in the road of their relationship. Take our friends Spencer and Cynthia, for example. Spencer, being an INFJ, is more introverted and needs his alone time to recharge. Cynthia, on the other hand, is an extroverted ENFJ who loves to socialise and be around people. This difference in their social needs could have led to tension, but they found a way to navigate this potential pitfall. Spencer explained to Cynthia that his need for solitude wasn't a rejection of her company, but a vital part of his well-being. In return, Cynthia shared her need for social interaction and reassured Spencer that her outgoing nature wasn't a sign of dissatisfaction with their relationship. By communicating openly and respecting their differences, they found a balance that worked for them both. Another challenge they faced was their differing decision-making styles. INFJs like Spencer tend to make decisions based on personal values and how they feel about a situation. ENFJs like Cynthia, while also considering feelings, tend to be more objective and look at the broader picture. This difference could have led to disagreements, but instead, they used it to their advantage. Whenever they had to make a decision, they would both present their perspectives. Spencer's personal value-based viewpoint and Cynthia's broader objective outlook often resulted in a well-rounded decision that took into account both the micro and macro aspects of the situation. These challenges, rather than becoming obstacles, became opportunities for growth and understanding in their relationship. The key was open communication, respect for their differences, and a deep understanding of each other's needs. Challenges are inevitable, but with understanding and respect, they become stepping stones to a stronger relationship. So, let's remember Spencer and Cynthia's story as a shining example of how two different personality types can not only coexist, but thrive together in a loving, respectful relationship. So what's the secret source to a successful ENFJ-ENFJ relationship? Self-knowledge. Indeed, understanding oneself is not just a path to personal growth, but also a key to unlocking healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Let's take a closer look at how self-knowledge played a crucial role in Spencer's relationship with Cynthia. Before Spencer discovered he was an INFJ, he found himself stumbling in relationships. He felt misunderstood and often struggled to communicate his needs effectively. This is a common predicament many INFJs find themselves in due to their unique blend of introversion, intuition, feeling and judging. However, everything changed when Spencer discovered his Myers-Briggs personality type. This newfound self-knowledge was a revelation. It illuminated his strengths and weaknesses, his needs and desires. And most importantly, it helped him understand his unique way of interacting with the world. Armed with this understanding, Spencer was able to navigate his relationship with Cynthia, an ENFJ, with more grace and understanding. He learned to articulate his need for solitude without feeling guilty, and he grew to appreciate Cynthia's extroverted energy without feeling overwhelmed. This mutual understanding and respect for each other's personality types became the bedrock of their successful relationship. But the power of self-knowledge extends beyond romantic relationships. 
It can transform our friendships, our work relationships, and our relationship with ourselves. When we understand who we are at our core, we learn to accept ourselves, quirks and all. We become more patient with ourselves, more forgiving of our mistakes, and more appreciative of our strengths. So, let Spencer's story be a reminder. A reminder that understanding oneself is the first step towards understanding others. It's the first step towards healthier, more fulfilling relationships. It's the first step towards living a life that feels authentic and true to who we are. Understanding oneself is indeed the first step towards understanding others. Don't you think so? Now it's your turn. How has understanding your personality type helped your relationships? Share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Keep exploring, keep understanding, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.